Of the world's 30 cormorants, six breed in North America and live by diving from the surface for fish, principally in coastal waters, though two species may be found inland as well. All are large blackish birds, more similar than distinct. Therefore, range and habitat are important in identification. When perched, cormorants hold their bills tilted upward and show a hunched, vulture-like posture. The necks are long, and the bills are long, slender, and hook-tipped. Flight is direct and strong often low over the water. Cormorants are gregarious in nesting, feeding, and resting. The great cormorant is the largest and northernmost of our cormorants and is more widespread in Europe than in North America. The large size, whitish face and throat, and stocky neck held straight in flight are the best identifiers. Immatures are paler overall, dark brown on the breast, and pale on the belly. The great cormorant breeds in the maritime provinces and winters on the New England and mid-Atlantic coasts. The only other cormorant to share this range is the smaller double-crested cormorant, which carries its neck in a distinctive crook, or Adam's apple, in flight. A cormorant sighted inland in North America is very probably a double-crested cormorant, though the bird is most common along the coastlines. Note the featherless pale orange mask and throat patch. In spite of the name, head crests are not a reliable field mark. After diving from the surface in pursuit of fish, the double-crested cormorant perches to dry in the sun. Immatures are pale on the throat and breast, whitish on the belly. Along the Texas and Louisiana coasts, there are two cormorants the double-crested, and the smaller olivaceous. The olivaceous cormorant has a more slender profile than the double-crested and an even longer tail. Immatures are dull grayish-brown and paler below than adults. Breeding adults show a thin white border along the rusty throat pouch. The Pacific coast in all seasons is shared by three cormorants, the ubiquitous double-crested, Brant's, and the pelagic. Brant's is a stout bird, much larger than the pelagic. Brant's cormorant flies with the neck extended straight. The head is large and rounded, as opposed to being a continuation of the snake-like neck of the pelagic cormorant. Brant's is also a gregarious bird, given to group feeding frenzies, churning the ocean waters in shallow dives. The slender, long-tailed, and more solitary pelagic cormorant keeps to remote cliffs to nest, and feeds amid surf-pounded rocks. A white flank patch is conspicuous. Breeding pelagics show a small red mask, and they erect a ragged crest. Note the slim bill. The immature pelagic cormorant is as dark as the adult, whereas the young of Brant's are brownish, and young double-crested cormorants are pale on the neck and breast. Larger than the pelagic cormorant, whose northern range it shares, the red-faced cormorant wears a more extensive orange-red mask in all plumages and has a paler bill. Breeding adults are crested. Like the pelagic, the red-faced cormorant shows a white flank patch. It lives in the seas around the Aleutian Islands and the adjacent coasts of Alaska. <laughs>